Well, finally, we could know what role in it. Well, is he a god or? Wait, give me a sec. Can I go back? I can't go back. Fuck, I gotta talk to him. So yeah, I'm kind of curious. So how the fuck is he involved with this? Is he and Lilith, you know, like maybe they were like teammates, but then he no longer wants to do it because he found out it's wrong, but then Lilith still wants to do it. So they got, they went to their separate ways or something like that. Or were they childhood friends and something happened to Lilith and she thinks that um, getting the primal gods will help her out with her, what happened to her. Let's see. Who the fuck are you? Well, the floor is all yours, Roland. Thanks. First, I want you all to take a look at this. That's the beast from Tempeel. Furikin. Lilith released the primal beasts from their slumber and stole their powers. Those powers now flow within Lyria. She's essentially a living storage vessel. <laughs> the Astral Realm is Lilith's home. One way back is to restore the Forbidden Primal. Angra Mainyo. I hope I'm wrong, but she plans to feed it the other beast's powers. Just how big and nasty is this Mainyo thing? the primal beast of gateways, allowing all kinds of travel between any two points. Distance doesn't matter, so in theory, one could even pass through to the astral realm. Doesn't sound that evil to me if all it does is open a bunch of doors. <sighs> if only it were that innocent. The problem lies in what's needed to open a gate. You see, the gates require energy proportional to the distance between them. Now, let's pretend we want to open a gate to the Astral Realm. In this case, distance is secondary. Now we're discussing interdimensional travel. So, energy-wise... Yes, an extraordinary amount will need to be consumed. And that instantaneous consumption will trigger grave repercussions. At best, Zega Grande would be reduced to nothing in the aftershock. At worst, most of the Sky Realm would cease to exist as we know it. There's no way that's possible! Then let me tell you a story. Fifteen years ago, Lilith revived Angra Mainyo. She attempted to open the gate to the Astral Realm. Fortunately, for whatever reason, she failed in her scheme. But a number of islands weren't so lucky, and they were rendered uninhabitable. Survivors of the incident are forever cursed to live their lives with unending trauma. That's awful. You see now? She won't give up. She will utilize the power of the Four Primals and attempt to cast open the gates once more. And the only thing waiting for us on the other side of those gates is sheer destruction. We can't allow history to repeat itself. There's something I'd like to ask about this woman, this Lilith. She's an astral, isn't she? The potency of her powers and her obsession with the Astral Realm give her away. <sighs> the Astrals. The invaders who once ruled over our skies. Astrals? What the hell? You are correct. Mm-hmm. Well, it takes one to know one. <laughs> Unbelievable. I suspected as much a while back. 
You knew a great deal about this Skydom. Things that no ordinary person should know. I'll be damned. A real live astral right under our noses. <laughs> Sorry. Can't blame a guy for being on edge. Is that... Those are obvious raptors! You're kidding! They really chased after us? They couldn't have mobilized a hunting party this quickly. Of all the times to hound us, they choose now? Well, they're here. Less talking, more blasting. Go, go, go! Take the ship! I'll stop you in your tracks! On my mark, I hoped for a more peaceful flight. How did they find this route? It's those interlopers! Safe formation! We must take this ship! They seem just as surprised as we are. It might be a coincidence. All squadrons shoot to kill! Lady Lilith has decreed these heathens be purged for their nefarious schemes! Unfortunate timing on our part. Stay alert for more. It just occurred to me. There's only one destination at the end of this flight path. Which means we're headed to the same place as these jokesters. Indeed. And let us discuss particulars after we have saved our hides. It seems conviction is a strong motivator. Well, you got an astral yank in your chain. Okay, is he gonna get some kind of race? Oh, I'll follow you! You're the best ally! You're amazing! I guess so. I'm glad to be of service. Now there's some dimensional beings. Superb! Oh! Finally, that was the last of them. Looks like Obvious already making their next move. I must take action. Wait, I just want to be super sure. Are you really an Astral? <laughs> you wouldn't be the first. We've met other Astrals before. Loki and Mikaboshi, if those names ring a bell. They have their own particular philosophies. But you seem different from them. Right? It's like Fixit Dude actually wants to be a part of the Sky Realm. Indeed. It was no act when you risked life and limb to save the people of Folka and Tempeel. I'll be honest. I once viewed Sky Dwellers as insignificant. But that all changed. Many years ago, the first friend I ever made in this world taught me a valuable lesson. They said there is strength in solidarity. Understanding can overcome adversity. Help us grow. Folka is now my home away from home. The people there are like family to me. Sadly, we experience longevity on different scales. If I were granted one wish, it be to stay with them forever. At the very least, I want them to be happy. I'll do anything I can as an astral to protect the populace, to protect the islands. And I'll stop Lilith, no matter the consequences I must suffer. We understand how you feel. The Sky Realm is our home too. So you can count on us! I guess even Astros come in all kinds of different flavors. Just like Sky Dwellers. The same can be said of primal beasts. Heh. <laughs> Kinda weird having an Astral watching our backs for once. But I won't complain. Thanks, everyone. I'm sorry I haven't been up front with you all. I suppose I was acting out of cowardice. I was... afraid of your reactions, if you learned I was an astral. And he gets shot. 
<laughs> I don't know why I was thinking about that when he, he said that. Oh. oh, fuck. We're in this together. <laughs> Captain. Thank you. <laughs> yes. With Roland's aid, we'll surely stop Lilith and rescue Lyria. Angramanyu's real body is in an altar beneath Seed Hollow Castle. Yikes. There's a sinister primal lurking right under that huge city? Yes. And I'm the one who sealed it down there centuries ago. But if Lilith found Angra 15 years ago, that means the seal is... Broken. When she squandered away Angra's power, she failed to capture its true form as well. I'm certain it's still in the altar somewhere, camouflaged by its gateway powers. Uh, so that's why you stayed behind in Seed Hollow. To find the damn thing. Indeed. Unfortunately, my search turned up nothing. However, the moment Lilith summons Angra's real body, that may be our chance to strike. I warn you, she and I are equally matched. But, lucky for me, I've got the better team. Obvious, no doubt getting closer to the castle. There's no time to lose. We'll gear up in the city and make a run for the altar. Or else these skies are done for. I need to know what the hell is an astral. Oh, I got some trophies. Glossary. Astrals. Astrals uh, located appeared as a teenage boy who wandered with the primal beast Finrir in tow. He's given the wisdom he keeps in the true intention a mystery. Despite claiming to be a neutral observer, Logri had been uh, discovered to instigate trouble among sky dwellers and often cross paths with with me and the crew. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wait. God damn it. Let's read the last part. Astral Makaboshi first appeared to the crew as a cheery young ethnic, I can't pronounce it, however it eventually revealed that the day of war she was a tyrant who ruled over the uh, grande and hunger for a subjugation of the skies. A revelation which turned her cold and brutal. Okay, what the hell is an astral? Uh, though the origin of astrals are yet a mystery, one thing is certain. They wield terrible powers, defying even the laws of nature. They once subjugated the sky realm, forever changing the course of history. But, regardless reversal of fortune world were defeated by uh, sky dwellers in an assertion known as the war. Uh, the physical presence of sky, uh, astrals has been all but faded into mist. Their influence remains in the form of unique technology, some of which is still utilized in modern airships. Okay. Right. I see now. The, uh, how much money I got? 7,000. Sweet. Yeah, I completed any side quests? No. I'm gonna check if there's any new fucking weapons. Alright, where you wanted to depart? Man, crap's really hitting the fan now, huh? We better hightail it back to Seed Hollow before it's too late. So, we've suddenly found ourselves caught up in an astral tug of war, decades in the making. The relationship between Lilith and Roland remains unclear. But one thing is certain. Roland is our greatest ally in Zega Grande. And with all the good he's done here, his love for Sky Dwellers is plain as day. Together, I know we'll stop Lilith and ensure Angra Mainyu's gate stays closed. We will protect the Sky Realm. 